Hello, how are you? Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Big news, finally got a haircut. Word I picked up coronavirus at the barber, but hey, I wore a mask and well, I mean, I, I kind of think the mask is a little bit of a false sense of security, but whatever, did that. What do you guys think of the haircut? You love it, you hate it? I don't know, a lot of people comment about my hair on the channel. Either way, so today we're gonna be talking about some fun cryptocurrency news. We're gonna be talking about Filecoin and how they are bringing a new form of passive income to cryptocurrency and looking to decentralize, you know, data and storage there, which is gonna provide a cool opportunity to use like your hard drives, HDDs, SSDs, you know, just whatever the stores memory here can be utilized in this network and they have an incentivized test net which is the, the cool exciting part there were some russians that stole electricity to run mining farms tails or shiba inu uh obviously 10 seconds of tails running that here on the channel oh hey yeah and don't forget we're also gonna be talking about some uh, big ethereum mining news where some ethereum miners are able to earn potentially very high extra earnings but it's not something you can normally take advantage of so let's run the intro and jump into it I don't really like the layout that Coindesk is using and it makes their articles like, it's like they're adding fake length. If this was like in the center of the screen, one it wouldn't look this long, but whatever, anyway. So Filecoin prepares network launch with final testing phase. If you never knew or you probably forgot, Filecoin was an ICO in 2017 and everybody, including myself, were banking on this, making hard drive mining really popular and hopefully really profitable, especially in the golden mining era of the end of 2017. They raised $257 million. 257, okay, like that's insane. That's crypto in 2017, you got a decent idea. Here's millions upon millions. So they're gonna be rewarding miners and stuff like that, but before, we get into this. I want to talk about, you know, last call to enter the Bitmain Ant Miner K5 ASIC Miner giveaway. There's no cost associated, nothing like that. You got to click on this to check out the channel, and then you also um, are encouraged to join uh, Coin Mining Central's uh, newsletter as well as just, you know, check out the Voss Coin Talk cryptocurrency forum. You can do both of these each day, and there's also a couple other other ways to uh, participate and get bonus entries in the giveaway. We are also giving away an FPGA miner. This thing retails for five thousand. $500. Okay, so we're giving away one of them. Again, free, no cost. You can go ahead and do the basic tasks here to get involved in that giveaway. 19 days left on that one, and then six days left on this one at the time of recording today's video. Today's video is brought to you by Scott Offord, but we're not going to be talking about his bulk ASIC, bulk ASIC miner sales today. We're going to be talking about Mining Disrupt, which is now moving to a live format because of coronavirus, COVID-19, all that kind of stuff. July 20, 22nd, live stream and VR virtual reality. I'm not really sure how that part's gonna work, but hey, it's happening, it's going down July 22nd, which that's only a month and a half away. So, the news, okay, again, Filecoin. They raised $206 million in the 2017 Reg D coin offering, ICO, the other, uh, piece of information we just saw had a little bit different information on that number but it's pretty safe to say that Filecoin raised over 200 million dollars. They are incentivizing their test net which is designed to build, educate, and reward the early community of Filecoin miners who will help prepare the entire network for healthy, decentralized, and widely distributed mainnet launch this summer. Whether you're an experienced miner or just getting started, the testnet incentivizes competition and it is a great time to ramp up your participation in the Filecoin network and stay a while and listen. If you want some crazy news about Filecoin that I think is even bigger than their incentivized testnet is the fact that they are already going to Gemini. And I know that Gemini has listed you know, a handful of coins recently. That's cool with me. Okay, this, this exchange is based out of New York with a bit license, okay? The hardest place to run a cryptocurrency anything. They're there, they're paving the way. So they're a big deal and they're very beneficial with this kind of stuff. And basically, if you can get a coin onto Gemini, you can get that coin anywhere in the US with enough uh, you know, time, money, and uh, pressure. We also have a referral link that gives you $10 if you sign up with our Gemini code. And we also get $10 when you buy or sell $100 in cryptocurrency on their exchange. Again, guys, uh, everything helps. This video is not all about Filecoin, but just to round it out, Filecoin is a decentralized storage network designed to store humanity's most important information. So I guess you can't store not important stuff on there, but you can store humanity's most important stuff. Whatever that is, is TBD. For me, I mean, I would be putting Stardew Valley on there, for one.
So here's the really fun part about their test net is it's incentivized. So with this, there's gonna be uh, FIL, which is the ticker for a file coin. We're going to be looking at regional pools and then global pools associated with this incentivized test net. This is only going to be unlocked if each region receives or achieves at least one PIB of storage. But what's a PIB? You're probably thinking like a petabyte? That's a PB, isn't it? Well, I looked it up just to make sure I don't give you guys the wrong answer. So this is going to be the binary versus decimal system in a data management or measurement. So we got kibibytes, mebibytes, gibibytes, tibibytes, Pebby bytes. I mean, I mean, I sound ridiculous here, but it sounds really funny if you're so used to hearing like kilobyte, megabyte, gigabyte, terabyte, petabyte. Uh, it's like, it kind of sounds like a really bad song. But anyway, that's what's involved with that. So if you're thinking one pib, what is a pib? You know, that's going to be a uh, a petabyte here, which is going to be bigger than a terabyte, which is bigger than a gigabyte. So I'll have links out to everything uh, we're talking about in today's video in the video description below, as always. But basically if one pib is enough for a top 100 place on the global leaderboard the mining operation would receive 125,000 fil phil 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 oh man i gotta stop with my lame jokes today so you know real quick let's just look at coin market cap and which you know, I don't, i'm not really loving coin market cap lately but whatever so we got file coin futures here we got fills and uh, let's go actually you know let's go with coin gecko fill to usd and when we do that we're gonna get a file coin i o u we'll see if the price maintains here but if you got uh, 125,000 fills but you'd be receiving almost 1.5 million dollars at current prices if all this stuff holds i'm really curious to see what happens with this coin and the price and everything like that you know we're, we're trading futures here their chain is not launched again we're, we're talking about the test net here so don't go, go running out there and buying a bunch of this and think you're just going to make a killing uh you know massive risks involved here but with that i mean i have the links out here for you to go ahead and do some more research on this and keep in mind this is going to largely be revolved around pools and so forth you're not gonna it's very unlikely you have the storage capacity to go ahead and compete as a top 100 mining operation in this regard either way super freaking interesting stuff and i'm excited to see how it all pans out so this is some just you know kind of fun off the cuff news you may have seen it already but illegal crypto miner caught for stealing more than well, almost half a million dollars of electricity which uh that's a lot he allegedly created an illegal massive crypto mining structure that connects around 500 plat well, platforms to the local power supply network, causing economic damage to the state power grid valued at over 34 million rubles, rubles, okay, half a million dollars. He rented the third floor in a non-residential location in May, located on a construction compound in suburban town of New Couchette, where he started a mining farm to generate Bitcoin and altcoins. See that? He's not just a BTC maximalist, he's an opportunist right so anyway the police went there and they they uh, seized 518 computer component components used for crypto mining so we could safely assume i mean over 400 miners that's kind of crazy looking back to just a couple months ago march 27th the russian police have caught bitcoin miners who are stealing two hundred thousand dollars worth of electricity each month in their efforts to mine cryptocurrency the russian national guard seized 1500 pieces of mining equipment two million rubles I'm obviously kidding. Smartphones that contained incriminating messages and 100 altered electrical meters over the course of 20 searches. The mined cryptocurrencies were sent to exchanges located outside of Russia and then converted to cash. Look, I'm not condoning this stuff, obviously, but it is, of course, certainly interesting. And I wouldn't say it's like painting mining and crypto mining and cryptocurrency in general in the best light. But hey, it is what it is. And it, as always, I just said it already, but it's interesting. Also, I talked about some Ethereum miners making above average earnings. How? Why? Okay, so recently there were two transactions sent on the Ethereum network that had ridiculous Ethereum transaction fees. Okay, so let's look at that fee. Long story short, an Ethereum whale sent a 2.4 million transaction fee along with his uh, Ethereum transaction. He sent a 350 Ethereum. And with that 350 Ethereum he sent, at that time i believe it was a 2.6 million dollar uh, transaction fee associated with it so you can alter your transaction fee depending on the cryptocurrency wallet you're using and that's what he did so 
what happens here is that this is a way that miners earn additional in income. So anyway, miners, they mine, they use their custom code. Man, we talked about mining a ton here on Voscoin. So not only do you get the block reward when you're mining, so say that you know, you're mining whatever coin and it's 10 coins, right? But this guy sent a thousand additional coins. Just, you know, raw, raw, just make an example here in the transaction. So the miners, they get that 10 coin. So like say a mining pool. So in this case, Ethermine, which is controlled by Bitfly. So Ethermine, mine this block and they get their normal 10 Ethereum. And say you get your average uh, transaction fees on top of that, which let's just say like five coins. So normally you get about 15 coins per block mine. Well, this one had like 1,015, which is wild. So after not being able to say, like see a credible result saying that that was a mistake and to return it to the rightful owners, they went ahead and distributed an extra $2.4 million of mining revenue to their Ethereum miners. Well, we've used Ethermine in the past and uh, clearly that has been a profitable decision for those who are mining during this period, which is pretty freaking cool and a very nice opportunity. And with that, I want to close out today's video and cryptocurrency news and update. I want to thank all of you guys seriously for subscribing to the channel. I can't believe how many subscribers we've gone up recently. It's all thanks to you guys being super freaking awesome. I, I can't believe we're at 116,000 subscribers. I mean, I just, I'll leave it at that. So as always, guys, um, I really appreciate you. Thanks so much. And hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment and let me know what you want to see in upcoming videos. As always, I'll see you on the next one. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Because 116, we're not stopping there. We're going to 200,000. And uh, above all, hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you on the next one.